Prophet Ezekiel 11, God sure judgment on Jerusalem and the promise of Israel's return. Judgment on Israel's leaders. Then the Spirit lifted me and brought me to the east gateway of the Lord's temple, where I saw 25 prominent men of the city. Among them were Jaazaniah, son of Azur, and Pelatiah, son of Benaiah, who were leaders among the people. The Spirit said to me, Son of man, these are the men who are planning evil and giving wicked counsel to in this city. They say to the people, Is it not a good time to build houses? This city is like an iron pot. We are safe inside it like meat in a pot. Therefore, Son of man, prophesy against them loudly and clearly. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon me, and he told me to say, This is what the Lord says to the people of Israel. I know what you are saying, for I know every thought that comes into your minds. You have murdered many in the city and filled its streets with the dead. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. This city is an iron pot, all right, but the pieces of meat are the victims of your injustice. As for you, I will soon drag you from this pot. I will bring on you the sword of war. You are so greatly... You you so greatly fear, says the Sovereign Lord. I will drive you out of Jerusalem and hand you over to foreigners who will carry out my judgments against you. You will be slaughtered all the way to the borders of Israel. I will execute judgment on you, and you will know that I am the Lord. Know this city will not be an iron pot for you, and you will not be like meat safe inside it. I will judge you even to the borders of, of Israel, And you will know that I am the Lord, for you have refused to obey my decrees and regulations. Instead, you have copied the standards of the nations around you. While I was still prophesying, Pelatiah, son of Benaiah, suddenly died. Then I fell face down on the ground and cried out, O sovereign Lord, are you going to kill everyone in Israel? Hope for exiled Israel. Then this message came to me from the Lord, Son of Man. The people still left in Jerusalem are talking about you and your relatives and all the people of Israel who are in exile. They are saying, Those people are far away from the Lord, so now he, gave, he has given their land to us. Therefore, tell the exiles, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Although I have scattered you in the countries of the world, I will be a sanctuary to you. During the time of in exile, I, the sovereign Lord, will gather you back from the nations where you have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel once again. When the people return to their homeland, they will remove every trace of their vile images and detestable idols, and I will give them singleness of heart and, will, and put a new spirit within them. I will take away their stony, stubborn heart and give them a tender, responsible heart. So they will obey my decrees and regulations. Then they will truly be my people, and I will be their God. But as for those who long for vile images and detestable idols, I will repay them fully for their sins. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. The Lord's glory leaves Jerusalem. Then the cherubim lifted their wings and rose into the air with their wheels beside them. And the glory of the God of Israel hovered over them, above them. Then the glory of the Lord went up from the city and stopped above the mountain to the east. Afterward, the Spirit of God carried me back again to Babylonia, to the people in exile there. And so ended the vision of my visit to Jerusalem. And I told the exiles everything the Lord had shown me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.